Hi friends! Oh man, you guys are getting like uh, days and days and days pushed together. So if none of this makes sense, then whatever. But we're... I'm filming. So today we're gonna be making a protein shake. I usually have a tiny blue shaker that I like, but today we're using this big shaker. Um, I want to talk to you guys, well, a couple of things. I just want to blabber my mouth off here. Uh, first of all, this is the protein that I use. I think it's from Costco. There's another one that I like that's like a gold, red, and black bag that tastes really good. But this, when you put it in a shaker with just some water and some ice, it's not terrible. Hi! It's been around. Show her the back. You are a mermaid princess! Oh my gosh. She thinks she wants to be a mermaid for Halloween. All right. Sorry, my daughter is out shopping with a friend. My friends, who are actually her friends. I'm not sure I have any friends anymore. They're just all friends with my daughter. But anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to sit and talk to you guys for a little bit. I have really been taking care of myself lately and I am, I am so proud of myself. I have just, the best energy and the best attitude and I just, I feel so good and a lot of that has uh, been, you know, attributed to the fact that I've been working out daily. And I strive to close my little exercise ring. It's 30 minutes on my, um, the goal that I have, but like I was doing, uh, it was called 20 and 20 and 20 on tonal. So it's 20 workouts in 20 minutes and like, and 20 moves, something like that, I don't know. But anyways, I finished, I've finished three programs in the past nine weeks. Uh, I, I think I need to stay off the scale because my, my body composition is changing, but my weight isn't. And I found that like, you know, because as females, like we're supposed to be as light as air, you know, society tells us that you have to be as thin as possible. Um, I think that was kind of ingrained in my brain. And it's like, just because my scale isn't changing doesn't mean, that I'm not doing something positive for myself. So I kind of had to put that away and to the back of my cabinet, whatever, because I feel amazing. I'm starting to like look amazing. Even my husband, he's like, just the level of confidence lately. And I'm like, I know. And I'm just, I'm, I'm just so, so proud of myself. And I've really taken time this year to really take care of myself. Um, inside and outside i'm trying to you know do regular skincare and i'm trying to eat better and make better choices 80 percent of the time so that 20 percent of the time i could um you know have a nice time i stopped drinking for a while um and then i you know started having a couple drinks here and there again and then it's just like i don't know drinking lately is like what positive does it do for me I mean, I feel good when I have a couple of drinks, but I feel like absolute ass when I wake up and I don't know what's going on. It could be one drink or it could be seven drinks. Like it's a gamble. You don't know. And I'm like, you know, with all this work that I'm doing and this positive work that I'm doing on my body, um, is it worth it to have alcohol? And majority of the time, the answer is no. And also too, like, I'm not the type of person that my, my, personality changes because of alcohol. If anything, I get just like louder and more annoying. Um, but it doesn't like change the way that I act. Like if you wanted to go karaoke, let's go. If you want to go dance, let's go. Like there's, I don't need liquid courage to do anything. So I don't know. It's funny because like the older I get and the more I fill my days with positive habits, the less I have time and room for negative habits. Um, you know, so that's just something on the docket. Also, I got a hate comment today. Hmm. <laughs> it was so funny. Somebody was scrolling by um, and they like, they claimed uh, that I needed attention. Yeah, I'm on the internet. You know, and that's so funny to me. Like people who are like, oh my God, you're so attention seeking. What I don't, first of all, I don't understand leaving mean comments in the first place. Like I have mean thoughts a lot. I'm a, I'm mean. 
but I have a lot of mean thoughts. Um, but to leave them in writing on somebody's video when somebody's just trying to like actively live their life, like keep scrolling. But also what I don't understand is like, imagine getting online to consume content and then being upset that somebody has put out content. What? <laughs> I just don't. I don't understand, but thanks for the engagement. I don't know, it was just so funny. I was like, why? Yuck, like imagine just leaving a comment on somebody's, I don't know. I've never, like I, I understand constructive criticism and I understand, uh, you know, leaving like, maybe if you disagree with something that I'm saying and like thought provoking comments on my videos, like I'm more than open to have a discussion, but just to say something mean, like, oh, how miserable do you wake up? Like, imagine imagine just waking up and being like, I'm going to say something hateful online. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, this week is, what day are we on? We are on Friday, September 6th right now. I have to tell you, this week has been one of the most grateful, appreciative, just happy weeks. I get sometimes I get these moments that I'm just like, you know, I am just so grateful. I'm so lucky. I have an amazing husband. I have two of the most beautiful kids. And like, there's a lot of times where, you know, I melt down and I, my kids aren't listening and me and my husband aren't on the same page. And I'm like, why is this happening to me? But like, honestly, I, I am so lucky. Um, you know, I, and I'm just so happy. And it's funny because there's a lot of parallels between this year and last year, um, especially like with my children. And I'm just, we, we really learned from our mistakes and we really hit a stride and we're moving forward. And, you know, I don't know. I don't, you know, the ebbs and the flows. I don't know which one we're in, but we're in a great one whatever this is, keep us way up here. <laughs> um, I do have a little anxiety coming because like I said, on September 16th, we do have to take my daughter in for her MRI. So that's, that's the only thing that's just been kind of like looming and weighing on me. So that has sucked. But other than that, I've been trying to just keep myself busy and, you know, making content for here and making content on Amazon and uh, you know, just trying to be present with my kids, which is hard sometimes because sometimes I get tunnel vision with the things that I enjoy and I like. Um, so it's hard for me to step away from those things. So I need to, like at three o'clock when my kids get out of school, I need to have a hard out of what I'm doing. Like I've had my eight hour day to, to work, right? To make content or to edit or to film or do whatever it is that I want to do. Um, you know, and then when they're home, sometimes they're doing their own thing. So I like jump back on to what I'm doing. It's like working from home, I guess. Um, but you know, it's, I, I just need to be able to pull away and be a little bit more present with them. Also, I have to tell you, uh, I saw a lady make a TikTok that said she started feeding her kids dinner right after school. Life changing, life changing. Okay, my kids get home from school. Typically, they drop their backpacks, they grab their tablets, they want to have some like uh, decompressing time. Fine, fine, do that. Okay, but we have gotten ourselves in a place where they suck down three bags of potato chips and then I can't get them to eat dinner. And I'm like, so when she said that, I'm like, yeah, why do I have to feed my kids at five o'clock? They go to bed at eight. So they come home, they do their thing still. But I started cooking dinner, so they eat by like four o'clock, and then they're eating, uh, you know, one protein, one vegetable, one starch, and they're having their healthy meal, scarfing it all down because they are absolutely famished from being in school, right? And then later on, it's like, yeah, have some chips for a snack. Life altering, this has been. But other than that, I've taken some really uh, I've taken a lot of time to really just like reflect on some of the things that are going on with me and around me. And I don't know, I'm just thankful. And the universe right now, 
because I know how y'all like to play up there. The universe has put me in a really good spot right now. And it's funny because you can't have the good spots, right? You can't truly appreciate the good spots without having the bad spots. And I am very, I'm appreciative, okay? I can see it, I can feel it. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've had enough slices, you know? So anyways, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be working out. I'm happy to be taking care of myself. Happy, 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 happy. That's it. That's really all I have to say.